everyone, it's Polka Dot Insider here. Welcome to our educational video series. Today, we walk into a new tutorial about how to use SubWallet to manage assets, a user-friendly Web3 multiverse gateway for Polkadot and Kusama ecosystem. Now, all it can be used on Polkadot Kusama networks or chains using Substrate technology, but SubWallet also can be used for EVM-compatible chains. In short, we can manage our assets from multi-chain with SubWallet in a simple manner. In this video, we'll see how SubWallet helps us manage our assets efficiently. Let's go! Firstly, install SubWallet on your laptop or PC. Head to Chrome Web Store and search for SubWallet. Then press Add to Chrome to add to our browser. Now, let's say we don't have any account and need to create one. Let's choose Create New Account. Take on the option Account 1 if you want to use a wallet on Polkadot or Kusama chain and Account 1 EVM if you want to use on EVM compatible chains. We can only choose one option at a time. Remember to save our 12 word mnemonic seed here by clicking on the copy to clipboard to restore our wallet when we need to log in somewhere else and also protect from loss or thieves. Make sure that we store it carefully. Also, take on I have saved my mnemonic seed safely. Press next step to continue. Next up, enter the password of our wallet, then press add the account with the generated seed. With the display, just press confirm, then we'll be back with how to add new networks to our wallet later. Now just make it step by step so we don't mess up. We can also restore existing account by clicking on the Ellipse logo in the top right corner. There are numerous options for us to choose from, importing from seed phrase, private key, scan, QR code, or using Chase as a one file. By using SubWallet, we can interact with Polkadot, Kizuma chains, and even popular EVM chains by allowing SubWallet access to MetaMask Wallet. Let's go first with the import account from Seed Freeze. Enter mnemonic seed, then press next step. Create a password with the same manner when creating a new account. To import a wallet with a private key from MetaMask, we need to head to our MetaMask Wallet. Click on three dots in top right hand and select Account Details. Now press Export Private Key. Copy the private key, then paste it into the private key section of the SubWallet app. Also, remember to create a password for it. And to restore an account from Polkadot.js, we access our Polkadot.js wallet. Click on three dots here of the wallet you want that can be tracked on SubWallet. Choose Export Account to download the JSON file. Back on SubWallet, we need to drop the JSON file that we just downloaded here. Then press Restore to add a new wallet account to SubWallet. To view all the accounts that we added, we choose all accounts here. And to view our asset on multi-chain, we need to custom which networks we'll use by clicking on Allow Use on any chain here. Next, press Custom Networks and add all chains that we have access on. Click on Done to finish. Oh, what about importing new tokens? The SubWallet team also makes it really simple for us to work with. In the Crypto tab, simply scroll down to meet the Import Tokens button. Let's click on it. Now choose the chains we want to add new tokens, then copy and paste the smart contract in the contract address section. Now let's move to how we can receive and send tokens. To receive tokens, we select the first arrow I can hear. Next to the wallet address, we want to receive tokens and give them to the sender. Well, to send tokens, we choose the second arrow icon. Then we'll be directed to a new tab. Here we choose the account we want to send from and the asset we want to send. Then copy and paste receiver's wallet address here. Enter the sending amount here and press make transfer. Type in the password account in the unlock account with password and press confirm. So we are done. And that's for today's video about use sub wallet to manage our asset. If you really enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe to Pokemon Insider for more insightful and interesting videos. Bye, see you next time.